Well, good evening, Freedom Hall, and welcome to the 1997 National Farm Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull, the 29th edition. Hello, everybody. I'm Butch Krieger, and welcome once again. The final session here is Championship Night here at Freedom Hall, and what, before you, before me, you see the people that have been here all week and have made the finals tonight. We have five classes of competition here tonight eight in each class and it's going to be a great night of championship pulling here at freedom hall but before we get started folks at this time we'd like to introduce to you the representative for zeneca ag products the company responsible for the major sponsorship here at the louisville national farm machinery show how about it ladies and gentlemen let's give him a nice round of applause jeff kazizik thank you bud jeff it just seems like we start on Wednesday night, and before we know it, it's Saturday night. Time just flies. You don't get enough sleep. You don't have enough time, but it just always works, works out well for everybody, doesn't it? It's been an excellent week this year, Butch. We've had a great time, too, down here bringing the show to the people and that. How's been your all's response in your booth over there, and uh, how's it been up there in the hospitality room? It's been really good. We've had more people buy in the show this year than ever before, and the response has been really good. Uh, we have a bigger turnout in Louisville this year. The Kentucky Fair numbers are up this year for this show. You know, last night you and I were talking, and I said I'm going to thank the Fair Board. I think we all would need to thank the Fair Board once again, the Tractor Pull Committee. They do such a nice job. We want to thank the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center, particularly the sponsorship group that works with Zeneca closely here. We want to thank the Tractor Pull Committee, Mr. Biddle and his group, who selects the drivers and runs the the tractor pull offs every night. And we also want to thank uh, our customers, the farmers who buy our products. And uh, you may not realize this, but Zeneca doesn't spend money on television advertising. We decided that this kind of event and show is much more meaningful to our customers. Well, I know that's, uh, that means a lot to a lot of people, I'll tell you. I know from the tractor puller's perspective, from my perspective in that, we really appreciate Zeneca. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give Seneca a nice round of applause. Jeff, it's been a pleasure as always. It's homecoming week once again. Thank you, Jeff, so much for your all sponsorship here at Louisville. Scott from Louisville Speedway. Frank will come on out here with us, and we're going to do the driver introduction right now as we get started bringing you the best, the cream of the crop. They're here tonight. Some of the toughest classes I've ever seen in Louisville to wet down to what we've got here tonight, the, the eight of each of the five classes we got ready to go. That's 9,500 pounds super stock class, and what a class it is. Up number one out of Ackerley, Texas, driving the Red Horse International, here's Steve Blagrave. Out of Barrysburg, Barrysburg, New York, driving another Case IHD special, here's Hans Boxler. Out of Carthage, Missouri, driving the Barnyard Beast, John Deere, here's Doug Roberts. And out of New Albany, Ohio, driving another Case IH, known as the Land Shark, the winner here this afternoon, here's Kevin Comrus. From Lenox, Iowa, driving the workhorse, here's Rob Russell. From Springfield, Tennessee, driving the Tennessee tracks, Jay Fuqua. From Sydney, Illinois, driving Lightning, and here is Jeffrey Justice. And from Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, driving the high-tech redneck, here's Jody Ross. Let's give our 9,500-pound super stock tractor drivers a nice round of applause. In two-wheel drive, folks. And now, let's hear a word from our friends at Zeniga Ag Products. Last year, they had so little round of rain. Last year, they got no cotton whatsoever. We saw them in several tractor pulls around the country. So here we come, on the line, with Steve Blagray, the red horse out of Ackerley, Texas.
right, good run for the Blake Graves out of Ackerley, Texas. And the workhorse, or the red horse, I should say. We've got a workhorse also in here, and that is Robbie Russell's. 244.05, 244.05 for Steve Blagrave. Next up will be Hans Boxler from Barrysburg, New York. Driving the... The 200 contestants for our polls are invited to participate here in Freedom Hall. They must be a national or regional champion to be selected for one of the limited spots in each class. Finalists have earned a coveted spot in tonight's finals by winning earlier in the week. So we have the best of the best here tonight. Getting set to go here with Hans Boxler out of Verysburg, New York in the special. I'll tell you what, that looked like a real good pull there. And we'll get the official distance here in just a moment. 27.46 to 27.46 for Hans Boxler. Connection, Gary B, Chart Lewis, and James Lewis. Good seeing you guys. All right, here we go, Doug Roberts. Come on, Doug. Doug How about a John Deere people stand up and be counted, my John Deere friends. All right. Doug Roberts to the barnyard beast. 5.96, and that'll put him in the number one position. 245.96. happens here by Case IH people. This may be a cook, no doubt about it. Watch the sand pile. If everything goes all right, that's where he put it this afternoon. Taking the RPM up, waiting for that turbo to kick in. Here he comes. And the John Deere was a full pull at 245. Here we go. It's going to take at least 245 to go in the number one spot or into the pull-off. And so far, we have one tractor out, and that's that John Deere. He's got the full pull. 240.42, 240.42 for Kevin Comras and the Land Shark. Case International, 7130. Tractor, there's one just like this in the home headquarters of International. Russell made the copy of it. He pulls it all over the country. Here comes Rob Russell now with the workhorse out of Lennox, Iowa. Had a little tough luck this afternoon, but he made the program. Here he comes. on the workhorse.
Yeah, looks like an oil pump let go this time on the Tennessee tracks. Let's give a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Jay Fuqua. Wait, 213.08 for Jay Fuqua and Tennessee tracks. I tell you, Butch, I think that probably made the thriller video. I would imagine, no doubt about it. Point one nine, two hundred twenty point one nine. So that will put him in the number six position at this point. It's going to be John Deere. Go to the land shark. Let's give everybody in the class a nice round of applause. How about it, folks? Good, super stock class. Okay, and the distance now for Jody Ross was 225.37, 225.37, and that wraps up the 9,500 pound super stock class. So let's give you a quick rundown here. And finishing eighth was Jay Fuqua with an eighth place finish. Jeffrey Justice finishing up at seventh. Jody Ross with a sixth place finish. Finishing in the number five position, Hans Boxler. And finishing fourth, Rob Russell. Well, Butch Krieger, along with the dignitaries from the State Fair Board and Seneca Agricultural Products, will be making the special trophy presentation trackside here in just a few moments. Yeah, it has, Butch. I'll tell you what, I didn't know if it ever come, but we finally got here, and I'm just, I don't know what to say. I'm tickled to death. This tractor will run like Jack Rabbit, or sometimes it'll go like a turtle on it. Yeah, we've been breaking down a lot. We have a hard time getting it from the motor to the tires, but uh, we fought it all year. We're trying to get it fixed, but, uh, you know, we, we can make some good passes. I come out a little soft this afternoon, and it cost me, but I'll come out hard tonight. I, I'm going to get her. You sure did, I'll tell you. Anybody you want to thank tonight? Yeah, I want to thank the people here at the fair and everything, and Zeneca, and uh, they do a great job, and it's the greatest pool in the world, and uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Hyde and Stricker Implement. They help me a lot. Folks, it says right here, 4560 Super Stock Edition. Here's your winner in Super Stock. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Doug Roberts out of Carthage, Missouri. The Barnyard Beast. Our trophy presenters, representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, Mary Kay Gatton, and Mr. Lewis Bradley from Zeneca Ag Products, right there. Well, who we got here, Steve? Is this little Steve? It's the future tractor puller here. It's future Texas tractor puller, huh? Yeah. yeah. Right. Cotton farmer, too? Yeah, he's a cotton farmer. He's already learning how to drive a tractor. And all right that's great <laughs> i'd like to thank a lot of the people here this uh fair board does an outstanding job year in and year out we love coming down here and uh 
We'd especially like to thank Zeneca for uh, all the fine products they put out, and we use them, and uh, uh, we, just, we just really love coming here and have a good time. Well, we're glad to have you here. We hope you'll come back. You know, uh, when I first started here 19 years ago, I think you guys were around, and you keep on coming, and it's good to see you again. Yeah, as long as the future generations keep coming, well, maybe we can keep coming. All right, folks, let's give him a nice round of applause out of Texas right there, Steve Blagrave. And a future tractor puller right there, our trophy presenter, Mr. Lewis Bradley, representing Senegag Products, and Mary Kate Gatton, representing Kentucky State Fair Board. Well, I'll tell you what, Kevin, I know you'd rather be up there, but after what you've done today, I'm very proud of you. Well, we're very proud of the way the tractor ran. Uh, it's kind of tired now. I think I honed it a little hard. And hats off to Doug down there. Excellent job. Great bunch of guys to run with tonight. Would you put more weight on the nose or change anything tonight when you made your run? More horsepower. More horsepower. Okay. Well, you sure showed the way this afternoon. Anybody you want to thank? Absolutely. Once again, let's thank Zeneca and the Fair Board for putting on this wonderful pull. I need to thank Danny Dean for all the work on the tractor. My girlfriend Pam and Kevin up there in the stands and that whole fun bunch up there in section 314. This was you. He said this is for you guys. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Kevin Comrush, folks, right there. The land shark.